Hello, so this is just going to be a little quick video on plasma balls and Geiger counters. Because when I did the video the other day with the Crooks tube, um, setting off the Geiger counters, people said you can even more easily do it with um, like a plasma ball or, ball or a lightning ball. And there was one up in the attic, so I got it out. And um, as you can see, it does the same thing with bulbs, where uh, it makes the bulbs glow. So that's cool. But yeah, so... If you wanted to quickly stress test the Geiger counter, this is a really easy way of doing it. So we'll turn on this Geiger counter, and then we'll put it next to it. Um, now, something to bear in mind, of course, first, don't do it with a nice watch uh, on your wrist, because I found out the hard way the other day that these, this is really kind of magnetised and screwed up one of my watches now, so I've got the Vostok on because it's actually got anti-magnetic properties. So, watch the light on it. Basically, yeah. And it thinks I'm receiving about one Rontgen of radiation per second there, which is clearly not true. But, you know, the point is that you can use this to stress test Geiger counters. Um, if we put on this really loud um, thing, put it to the 30 Rontgen per hour setting. There we go, that goes off. So... Yeah, they all seem to work pretty well, but this does show the importance of having good shielded electronics. So I assume the Plessy will go off incorrectly as well. So when the Plessy gets incorrect, let me get one of the metal Chinese housed Geiger counters. And it's just testing at the moment, then it should come up with zero. Yeah, there we go, 0, 0 0.0 for centigrade. Put that there, and is this... Th yeah, there we go. So that's at 116 centigrade, 101 centigrade. 91 centigrade, 93 centigrade, and clearly it's not really at amounts like that. But yeah, the point is that these, um, you know, lots of old Geiger Muller tubes weren't shielded very well, even if they were meant to survive nuclear bomb blast type stuff, you know. So now, as a completely different alternative to show you one that does actually work, let's get out one of the old Chinese military Geiger counters with the, um, really nice sort of brick styled cases to them which might seem a bit impractical but it is actually a really good design so we'll just get this one out of its satchel which I did up way too tight before there we go so we'll flick him on and if you see me press the circuit tester button which is this one you'll see the battery check circuit check works so the needle does actually move on it put this all the way over there no false reading same applies to those sort of other Chinese steel uh, or aluminium in case Geiger counters. So there we go. Just an interesting experiment. Uh, if you've got a plasma ball, it turns out you can use them to stress test Geiger counters or, you know, send off a simulated nuclear attack. Just be careful, obviously, about doing it with sensitive, good electronics because you don't want to damage them by accident. But as I said, uh, yeah, these are cool things, obviously. The old um, plasma balls, essentially it's a Tesla coil in the middle. Uh, with a vacuum around it, so it sends out, um, you know, I guess, <laughs> I'm, I'm not really clued up on how the electricity even works, but basically, you get plasma because of the vacuum, plus, you know, everything else. But yeah, it's a cool thing, um, but it does point out why, you know, Geiger counters aren't the be-all, end-all, especially in certain designs, because they can get tricked very easily by sort of magnetic fields and high voltage fields and things like that, as I said before. So a big thank you for the person who mentioned that in a comment about the Crooks tube I did the other day, because it turns out, yes, you were completely right. It does do the exact same thing. And this is actually a far safer way of demonstrating it, because everything is, like, built in-house with these sort of, um, you know, Tesla coil sort of... Uh, plasma balls where uh, when you're using crooks tubes with high voltage power supply there's a lot more that could go wrong so yeah just a pretty cool thing i thought